future, is it? The future, the then we Ica, you know how it goes. Ben Whitaker, what's going on, brother? It's all good, man. Just dead to support the local lads on GB boxing at the GB championships. Nothing more than that, really. Have you ever been in these championships before? No, I've never been in this before. Like, um, when I got on the squad, it was that busy. They never really put in my schedule, really, so it's just one of those. Okay. So, um, the last time I saw you perform, you performed for obviously for Great Britain, uh, the Euro European Union. And uh, you got, what, what, what did you get? I, for I forgot it even. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got the gold medal. Um, yeah. Recently moved up to 81 kilogram. Yes, won the Boatsi weight. Yeah, <laughs> the Boatsi weight. Won a tournament in Turkey. And I went, went to the EU's. The coaches knew I could have won something, but they thought, you know, high, it's kind of high hopes getting a gold, just moving up. But I believed in myself, performed, and I got the gold medal. So I just got to keep stepping from there now. So how do you feel moving moving up to um, 81 kg? I feel real good. When I was at 75 kilo, I'd go up to about 82 kilo. Then the next day I'd have to lose it, get down to 75 kilo. I was a natural 81 anyway, so I'm comfortable at it. And I'm tall enough and big enough for it, so. And I'm fast enough, so it showed in that tournament how fast I am, so. I like it. It's, it's my type of weight, so. Have you um, got your eye on any top um, 81 kg? There's, there's obviously, there's the cruise. Do you know about that American guy? What's his name? Uh, he's the one who stopped... Um, uh, Khalil. Or yeah, like Khalil, that. yeah, yeah. Do you... Yeah, well, we go over there in January. Okay, so. where? In America? Yeah, so... I thought you got you lot were going to Russia or something. No, no, we go in, Jan uh, in January, go back to Colorado, Springs for a training camp, so... I'll just rubber stamp my mark over there. He'll know about me after that training camp. Let me take it from there. Okay, I look, I look forward to it. But make sure you get in contact with me. Uh, let me know how it goes with that, with, with the American rival. Um, but it's not a full, foregone conclusion you're going to make it to the Olympics because you've got um, other competition like the um, Commonwealth winner, what's his name? Sammy Lee. Sammy Lee. How's the, how's the competition between you two? It's good. Um, without competition, you know, you kind of get, get stale. You need that competition to keep getting better, but I believe in myself. I know I'm one of the number 181s out there. I've been to training camps, I've just been to tournaments and I've showed it. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, keep training hard, and when my time comes, I'll take it with all fans. Okay. So what happens between you? How's this competition going to go? Are you guys going to enter like a... Are you going to do a box up? Um, box box it, fight or...? What it is, yeah. Um, you're just gonna keep winning, keeping a winning form. Like I've won two back-to-back -back tournaments now. And in the new year, there'll be tournaments coming up. Win those, just looking good, good time. And the training camps when you're there look good. And then when you get that, if they say, oh, you've got a qualifier in Turkey, you go in there. There's no, there's no beating around the bush. You gotta take it with more fans because if you don't do well there, you'll send someone else there, and that might be your opportunity. Gone. So as soon as you get your call up, you gotta take it. Okay. So what made you start boxing? Um, I was a hyperactive kid at school. My teachers couldn't handle me. My mum couldn't handle me. So my dad said, right, then I'm going to take down to the gym to burn off some energy. Um, he seen something in me for, yeah, this kid's good. So he took me into the garden. He just worked on pure footwork. I started punching. He goes, no, 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 no. We, we, we're narrowing it down. We did our footwork drills. And now I'm on Team GB. And you can see the way I fight. The drills he's done has paid off, so it's quite good. Yeah, I remember that footwork talk because uh, Andy Joshua said that once on um, Sky. <laughs> that's it, that's what sets you apart, you know. It, anyone thinks, oh, you're getting the hit, get hit, but nah, man, the clever ones, they hit and not get hit. And in this game, taking too many shots, you know, in the end of the day, you don't want to be making money and be a punch drunk. You want to get your money and be at the game and look after your family, that's what you want to do, so. The, the, the more punishment you can put on someone and not get it on yourself. That's what, that's the art of boxing. Can you remember the age you started? Second, so the age, yeah, I started yeah. at seven. Seven, okay. So I'm 21 now, so I've been in the game for a while now. Yeah, so, well, yeah. so, yeah. um, music, music. What's, what's, what's your type of music? What do you, what do you, you know, like? I love my music, man, it's a big inspiration. I've got the e earphones yeah. in now, so. Yeah. Um, hip hop, you know, I do like my R&B, my slow jams. I'm more of a slow jam before I'm getting fights. I don't like the hype stuff because you get too up for it. Slow jams like a Trey Songz, Octavian, Tory Lanes, all that type of stuff. Calm myself down. Then when I'm in the ring, it's gold time. It's Start gold dancing time. on them. No, it okay. goes. It's <laughs> <laughs> I see you. I see you. Um, apart from listening to music and boxing, any other hobbies? Truthfully, boxing's been my life since a kid, so I've not really done much. I did. I did love my football. 
I was always a football type of kid, but my dad just said, plain and simple, you're rubbish. So, you're going into boxing, you know what I mean? Use it, your footwork for boxing instead of football. That's it, man. You know, it, it wasn't for me. You could play as good as you want, but if your team ain't doing well, yeah. you're losing. Whereas yeah. a boxer, it's you, you on you. If you don't, if you don't perform, you lose. If you perform, you win. So I like that. It's a lonely sport. Yeah. So boxing's away from me. You know, I do love my music, yeah. chilling with the lads. I'm down here every Monday to Thursday, so I see them more than my own family now. So boxing's a big part of my life, and okay. it's paying off. So are you the only one in your family? You've got brothers, sisters? I've got an older brother. Um, mm. He's a Royal Marine. So okay. you know, our family's a bit dangerous around the area. Yeah, you know, I see. Yeah, got I some see. killers in the family. <laughs> But it's all good. We're all, a, we're all a tight family, disciplined, and my, my mom and dad are proud of us because we're doing well. Because we could have went down a wrong way, you know, I mean, wrong path. Because our area isn't the best. Yeah. But like we've got good parents who's like pushed us into the right direction. Yeah. I mean, the only the only way I could tell that you're a boxer is because you've got that tracksuit thing. Yeah. So you've got the right. fat, the, the sharp uh, shape up and that. I mean, you know, who, who hooked you up there? Shout out billionaire barbers, it's honey, right? Get the sponsors in there. Yeah. You know, where else? Where else? Where are the sponsors have you got? Um. Okay, let's go. ABC Cars, ECC, um, Eat Right. Uh, who else is on there? Um. Hey there, let me look at my phone now. <laughs> I gotta get them all in. I can't get half and half. You know what I mean? That's but, true. You no, know, while we're here, I share Uncle T boxing because he's doing a big thing. Travel all the way from London to get in these interviews, so you gotta give him his props. We share out Jim Pro. We share out Luke Clothing, Billionaire, Tommy Johnson, Bandel, JR Health and Social, Majors Fish Bar, and Nichols and Sons. Okay. Well, then let's let's go. The, the, the tournament has started. Yep. You need to go and watch it. For real, you know, man. Right? For real. But That's thanks for your fun. time, and uh, I'll catch you up soon. No, and I'll no. see how you, you do. See if you make it to the 2020s. Share Uncle T boxing, man. Keep Appreciate following. it, brother. No, Take care, easy.